Oh my God, just look at this delicious bread. I'm so hungry. You know, friends, my family forbids me to eat too a lot. They save on food and they don't like me. Even though they eat a bunch of food themselves, I can't even eat a piece of this bread. Ha <laughs> ha, my stomach is full of food. Oh my God, that's not fair. They have delicious food on their table and I have to chew on this bread. I have to eat it very quietly so they don't hear me. Whoa, what is that? They left a plate of delicious and shiny fruit on the table? I just have to try them to taste them. Again, let's not forget my stealth. I'm a born ninja, a very hungry and poor ninja who will steal this beautiful apple right now. Yeah, I got it. Who's making that noise? I think it's JJ who's the idiot. He's playing his stupid games again. Uh, yeah, I'm just playing. Don't mind me. I'm out of here. Stop right there. Where's the apple that was on the saucer? Ouch. Who told you not to eat? Hey, I haven't eaten anything in two days and you've gotten so fat. JJ, you're grounded. You're gonna sit in this closet for the rest of the day. Hey, not in the closet, please. I hate you, idiot. Hey, 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 hey. They don't know I stole bread and an apple during lunch. That's what I'll be fed on for the next two days. And here's my delicious bread. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. Nom, 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 nom. This is so good. Two hours later. Yeah, it's not the most interesting read, you know. Hey, freak, I got a job for you. Don't call me that, please. Shut up. You need to wash Mikey's clothes. He soiled himself in some really good food. Uh, why doesn't he wash his own clothes? Because I don't want him to work. And I don't care about you. I don't love you. You're only a servant in our house. I will not wash his stinking clothes. Then you won't eat for another week. Get back to work. Oh my god, that's not fair. All people need to eat every day. I hate you. I'm so unlucky to have such stupid and mean parents. Hey, what did you say? Say that again right now. I said that I love our whole family very much. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Huh, what a deaf old man you are. God, why did I have to do all this? Washing Mikey's dirty underpants is so embarrassing. Friends, who in your family washes your dirty clothes? Write about it in the comments. Okay, I think Mikey's underpants are already clean and can be pulled out of this river. All that's left is to put his clothes in his drawer. I'm wondering how he got food all over his clothes. He's so dirty. He probably just smears food on his underwear for fun. God, while I'm starving, Mikey's feeding his clothes. It's so frustrating, you know? By the way, where's Mikey now? Maybe he's in the bathroom right now? I I should check it out. Uh, no, he's not here. Then where is he? I'm not allowed in his room, am I? Where should I put his clothes? Okay, I'll sneak into his room and put his clothes in his drawer. There's no Mikey. Where the hell is he? He's got such a big room. I live in a small closet that's very cramped and dusty. He also has so many toys. I'm so jealous of him. I don't have a single toy, but he has a whole box of fun stuff. Okay, it's time to put all his clothes away and get out of here as soon as possible. That's it. It's done. I hope I don't get another mission after this one. I really want one of these toys for myself, but I'm gonna get punished for it. That's it. Time to go to my closet. Hey, what are you even doing here? I just wanted to put your clothes in your drawer. Get out of here. You're not allowed in here, stupid JJ. Okay, okay. Stop hitting me. So you're thanking me for washing your clothes? Oh, that's your responsibility, stupid. No one's allowed in my room. I bet you've been touching my toys too. You're so mean. Don't expect any more help from me, Mikey. He beat me up for it. I'm so hurt. Nobody loves me in this family. Why do I even live here? Hey, JJ, don't bother me watching TV. Oh, that's it. I'm getting out of this stupid house. I hate every single person who lives here. It's time to pack up all my supplies and find a new home. I have one diamond. That's enough for a while. I also have a broken old toy. Well, that's enough for me to live on my own. Better than living in a family where no one loves you. Ha ha ha. Now that's a really cool movie, Mo. Moment. Hey, JJ, give me a foot massage now. Massage yourself. I'm not your son anymore. You're a freak. Well, friends, what can I do now? Write about it in the comments. I'm a free and independent man now. Goodbye, my unloved family. I hope I never see you again. Uh, yeah, let's go. A few moments later. Here's your store. That'll be one diamond. Wow, I have just the diamond for that. Now I have my own personal store. Not bad. Nice doing business with you, JJ. You too, buddy. It's time to make the cool Coolest juice store in town. Come on, come on, JJ. <laughs>
okay? Work harder. He's so good. He's starting his own business from scratch. I'd just be too lazy to do it all. Hi, friends. As you can see, I'm a businessman now. I have my own personal store where I sell the most delicious juices. And here's my store. It's really cool, huh? Before I bought this store, it was so dirty and dusty, but I fixed it up and cleaned it up. I put all my money in here. Now I will hope that my juices will be bought. And if they don't, I will be in big trouble. I have carrot, watermelon, and apple juices. They are all sorted into these trunks. In my opinion, these are the best-selling juices in the world. And of course, I'm just selling water. Very tasty, healthy, and refreshing water. Now I've got to get some customers. Hey, people, come and buy the most delicious juice in the world. Watermelon juice is the best. Carrot juice is the healthiest. Apple juice is the coolest. I'm so thirsty for plain water. Hey, don't go away. I've got cold water for sale. What, really? Some new store opened up here. It just opened. Buy my water. Isn't it poisoned? No, look at this. Wow, you are so awesome drinking that water. I want to buy it from you. Of course, here you go, buddy. But it costs money. Wait, if I like it, I'll pay you. What? But that's not fair. Hey, pay first. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's really very refreshing water. Pay your money. Water isn't free, man. Okay, here's the money. Thanks for the water. Wow, a diamond for a bottle of water? That's kind of a lot. I have more yummy juices in different flavors. I can sell you those, too. Hmm. Give me some more watermelon juice. I haven't drunk watermelon juice in a while. Huh. Okay, buddy. I give you my word. These these juices taste great. Well, I'll trust you. Get that juice over here now. <laughs> here you go. Drink this. It's an unforgettable feeling, isn't it? How's that? Did you like it? Dude, this is the most delicious juice ever. I'm glad to hear that. Here's your money. You've earned it. I really enjoyed it. Come again. I still have plenty of juice left. Bye-bye. I'll always be here. What a good customer. He left me a whole diamond. I've already paid off this store. My store has finally started making me real money. I'm going to be a real rich man very soon. And here's my favorite toy. I fixed it, by the way. It's the only thing that comforts me at night. I'll keep all my money in this chest. Let's see how much I'll earn in the near future. I'll try to earn as much as I can. Later. Mikey, do you want us to buy you a couple pounds of candy? Uh, no. I want some burgers. That's a good idea. Let's go to McDonald's. Open up. Police. <gasps> oh, my God. Police. What are they doing here? Mom, I'm scared. Maybe they'll take us to jail. Stop panicking. We didn't do anything wrong. I'll talk to them and they'll go away. Well, okay, let's talk. Nobody move. Hands up. You're surrounded. Don't make any sudden movements. There's so many police here. It's not like we've even committed a crime. Turn around, you stupid child. Uh, okay. They're unarmed? Okay, everybody get over here now. Oh, what's going on? You have committed the worst crime in our country. You didn't pay your taxes. Do people go to jail for little things like that? Are you serious, officer? For such a small thing you come here and point your guns at us you mean for a small thing you can go to jail for life for that kind of thing um and if we pay these taxes now will you leave us you have too much tax debt but if you give me a lot of money now i won't touch you we'll just take your house as compensation what where do you think we're gonna live i don't want to be homeless but okay i have no choice take these diamonds and don't send us to jail ha 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 i love money much 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 later oh my god i have so many visitors and they all want my juice hey where's your juices quickly pour me the best stuff Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Don't be afraid. There's enough juice for everyone. Drink. Don't choke on it. More. More juice. Get me some juice quick. I'll pay any money. Okay, okay. One second. Ha, 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 ha. That's so cool. More. Give me more juice. I can't live without your juice. Here you go. Who wants more juice? I want to. Pour me first. I'll pay you in diamonds. Juice me first. Anything for your money, sir. I'll pour you the best juice. Hey, what's taking so long for my order? I only have two hands. Don't worry. No one here will be left without my specialty juice. JJ, you're your juice is just divine nectar. I can't live without your juice. Well, that's good to hear from you. I'm going to go count my money. I have recently become much richer than I was on my first day of work. Just look at how many diamonds and money I have in my chest. Looks like I'm the richest man in this town. I like it. Hey, Dad, stop drinking beer. We're hungry. JJ, we don't have any money for food. And what do we do? I don't want to drink beer. We need to find a way to get money and food. Do you remember when JJ used to live with us? Uh, well, yeah. Then he left home. Maybe he can help us now. We used to bully him all the time. I don't think he wants to help us now. Yes, we did a very bad thing to him. But we have no other options. We live in a terrible house and we are starving. I don't want to just sit there with an empty stomach. I'd go and apologize to him first. Yeah, Mikey's right. At least we won't lose anything. 
anything by going to him. Okay, let's go. We'll use his money. I don't feel any guilt at all. Cool. It's good to be back in my super duper cool house after a hard day's work. Think about it. I bought such an expensive house by selling some juices. That's so cool. You guys, go into business too. You won't be disappointed. Now let me show you my rich house from the inside. This is my hallway with marble columns. Very expensive, by the way. That's my kitchen in there. And there's my couch with the most expensive TV in the world. Uh oh, who's here to see me? I wasn't expecting any guests today. Hello, son. Oh no, bye bye. I don't even want to see them. Now, this TV is awesome in general. Oh my God. Stop ringing my doorbell. What do you want? Get out of here. JJ, please forgive us for bullying you in the past. We're so sorry. We also have nothing to eat and we don't have a proper house. Oh my God, you're such beggars. And you smell like you've been scavenging. All right, I'll let you stay with me for a while. Thank you, my son. Come to my home. I'll show off my rich house. Okay, here we go. I bought this whole house for $300 million because I'm very rich and you're not. Ha! Oh, wow. You're really cool, JJ. So we didn't have to bully you out of the house for nothing. If you say that again, you're out of the house. And this is my billiard table. I like to roll my own balls in my spare time. And here's the chill out zone. You can relax after playing with my balls. Can you please not talk about your balls anymore? I'm in charge of this house. You will listen to what I say. Okay, we already know you're the boss. You're right, father. And this is the second chill out area, but with the most expensive TV in the world. You better buy a beer for real. Beer is for losers like you, dad. And this is my kitchen. Now my mom's gonna make me hamburgers every day. Wow, this is such a big kitchen. I would love to make hamburgers for our whole family. Hey, I've got another second floor. Later, you can admire my super cool kitchen. JJ is so good. He made so much money. I'm proud of you, son. Shut up already. You're starting to piss me off. Come here, all of you. And what are you doing here? There's a dining area. In the kitchen, I prepare food. And here, I eat it. Those are some funny-looking fish. Oh, my God. Mikey's really still a kid. Come on. I'll show you my second floor. There's all sorts of other expensive and groovy stuff. Come this way. This is where I usually wash my butt. This is the bathroom. This is fun. I'd like to take a bath here. I'll consider whether or not to let you bathe here. Now get out of my bath. This is where my gym is located. I take care of myself and work out three times a week. Nah, nah, nah. See what a great boxer I am. Oh my God, Dad. Stop embarrassing yourself. This is my private room. This is so much better than the storage closet I used to live in at your house. What's this? This is my closest friend in the world, my toy tiger. And that's my mega awesome pool right there outside the window. You have such a cool computer. Can I play games on it? No, of course not. I forbid you from ever coming in here again. Hey, I already apologized for my bad behavior in the past. Okay, I forgive you, but you can still play there for a little bit. And this is where my barbecue area is. This is where I relax and grill meat with my guests. I love fried meat and sausage so much. And who doesn't love them? Hey, that's my pool right there. JJ, we are so sorry for the way we acted with you back then. Please forgive us. We're so ashamed. Okay, I forgive you all. You're my family. You can live in this house as long as you want. Oh, that's great. Now I'm going to live in this house and swim in this pool every day. I'm so lucky. Bull, 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 bull. Hey, Mikey, you can swim, can't you? Absolutely. Ah, uh, another beautiful day in my life. It's good to be rich. I'm the richest and coolest kid in the world. I have interesting toys, my own room, a TV with my favorite cartoons, and of course, I have an awesome, expensive computer. I don't know how much it costs, though. I was just told it was expensive. Huh, but it doesn't matter at all. I also want to ask my parents for a PlayStation 5. Let's buy it, please. Honey, we don't have to buy this. But why? Because, uh, hey, JJ. Hi. You came just in time. Your mom made breakfast. I did my best for all of us. Cool. I hope there will be pancakes. Sit down at the table and enjoy your meal. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, we can't afford to buy it because you're offering too cheap an option. But I thought it was a great option for our son. And I think we should buy something bigger and more expensive. What could be more expensive than a private helicopter? Private jet. Um, if you're interested, and I'd love a PlayStation 5, Huh, we totally forgot about JJ's opinion. Uh, Mom and I thought about getting you a gift. Oh, really? But you decided, 
Good for you. Yeah. Honey, it's time to go to work. Okay, let's go. Oh, we have plenty of money already. Why are you both even working? JJ, there's no such thing as too much money. And money tends to run out. Here you go. It's for your expenses. Have fun. Oh. And JJ, we're going to get you a helicopter and an airplane after all. Oh, my God. We have a lot of money. Buy whatever you want. Cool. There are so many things I want to buy. I'm going out on the town. Honey, we have to go to work. Time is money. Yes, let's go quickly. Oh, today I'm going to buy myself in game console and eat fast food and drive around Just one town. condition, JJ. You have to be home by tonight. Okay, Dad, no problem. We're very worried about you. You don't have any more restrictions. Yeah. Mom put lunch in the fridge. Hmm. There's mashed potatoes and cutlets. All right, we gotta go. JJ, have a great day. Okay, thank you. Uh... Call us if you need to give more money. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hope you both are having a good day, too. And have a good day at work. It's nice to live in a rich family, and I'll soon have my own airplane and helicopter awesome. I have the best family and life in the world. I'm gonna drive around town and throw money around because I can afford it. And if I run out of money, I can ask for lots and lots more. Oh, I certainly don't have the coolest car, but that's good enough for me for now. Let's go! Because even with a car like this, I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. That's rich freedom. And the best part for me is that there's never a dull moment. I always have something to keep me busy. Oh, my stomach can't even rumble anymore. I haven't eaten in a week, I'm so hungry. How did I, Mikey, get so unlucky in life? I'm poor, I have no family at all. And all I can do is beg for food and money from passers-by. I wish a miracle would happen, I'm so tired of living like this. I would just be given the opportunity to get out of this poverty and I would be immensely grateful by now. But there are no good people in the world. Two hours later. Hmm. Except when I'm alone because I have no friends. Uh, but I don't need friends. After all, why do I need friends when I have lots and lots of money? Money is my friend. I'm so hungry. Uh, no, 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 no. I just can't pass in a situation like this. I just gotta have fun. Apparently, I'm gonna starve to death. Hey, hi. What's your name? Uh, hi. My name's Mikey. And my name is JJ. What's up? JJ, I don't have any money for food. Please help me. Oh. I won't stay in your debt. I'll do my best. Oh, that sounds interesting. Where's your house? Funny, that's my house. Huh, what? It's just a bunch of paper. Well, that's how I live my life. Mikey, I've made my decision. I'm gonna help you. I would really appreciate it, as I can barely feel my stomach anymore. I'll give you one diamond. <gasps> is that true? Yes, of course. Yay! I knew there were miracles in life. Hmm. I can finally eat properly. Yay! Thank you you kindly, JJ. Ha! Give me that, please. But first you have to do something for me. Uh, what do you need? Come on. It won't be that hard for someone like you, I'm sure. Hmm. Mikey, don't you want the diamond? No, I won't recant. I'll do whatever you want. Cool. Here's a look. It's pretty simple. You'll have to do what you normally do. Hmm. Well, if it's a task I can handle, I'm all for it. Give me the diamond. Nah. I'm not just gonna give it to you. Oh, hmm. Huh. Now it's all in place. Uh, JJ, wait. Why'd you do that? Dig through the trash, beggar. Ouch! Did you really think I wanted to help you? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> and your tears won't help you, beggar. And I believed you. Huh, how silly you are. That stupid boy really thought I'd help him. He's a beggar. What good is he? Huh, no use. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I'm starving myself, so I'm going to go out and get something good to eat. I'm going to eat my fill of junk food. Yay. <laughs> JJ, why are you so bad? Uh, JJ. Ah, he's already gone. I don't want to go through the garbage, but I'm afraid this is my last chance for survival. I'd like to buy something useful with this diamond, so I have no choice. Ew, who threw away a moldy tomato? Ew, I stepped in it. <gasps> I found it, that's the diamond. That's right, this suffering will pay off for me. And I have a great idea what I'm gonna buy with that diamond. I'm gonna open my own lemonade stand and make my first money. Success! The next day. Hello again, everyone. I decided to take another ride around my town. I'm thinking of buying myself a couple of new Rolexes. Come on over and buy some lemonade from Mikey's. A cold, delicious, and refreshing drink at a low price. What? Is that Mikey? He was living in a dumpster yesterday. That can't be. Lemonade. Buy lemonade. Just what you need in hot weather. Oh, hey, JJ. Hey, Mikey. Where'd you get the money for your lemonade stand? You opened it all for one diamond? No, I've been saving for a long time to start my own small business. You're a homeless beggar. You couldn't save up. You must have stolen and money from someone. Okay, never mind. Pour me your lemonade quickly. Oh, you want some of my lemonade? That'll be 10 diamonds, buddy. What? 10 diamonds for your stinking dirty lemonade from the dump? I'd rather drink from a puddle than from you. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Look how many diamonds I have. 64 of them. I'd rather burn them than buy your disgusting lemonade. Don't you have anything better to do? Don't do it. I'll do it. That's it. Those diamonds could have been yours, but now they're gone. Why did you do that? You know I don't have much money and you burned it. Because I've been trolling you. You're ridiculous. You're a pauper. You stink. Dink. Get out. You'll scare away all my clients with your pranking. You won't have any customers. I should really get back to my business in my sports car. Goodbye, loser. It was really funny making fun of a lowlife like Mikey. How dare he not sell me his lemonade? But I don't care about him. Maybe
maybe he's right. I have no clients at all. Nobody wants my lemonade. I probably shouldn't have opened this shop. So today I have to sell my slime for 15 emeralds. Oh, what's this? Lemonade? I've never drunk lemonade before. That's worth a drink. Hey, buddy, could you pour me some of your lemonade? I'd really like to try this unusual beverage. Never sold it and don't know what it tastes like. What? You want to buy my lemonade? It stinks and it doesn't taste good. A previous customer said some really nasty things about this shop. I'm disappointed in everything. No one needs lemonade. Buddy, you're wrong. I want to buy your lemonade. Never give up and never give in if you don't succeed right away. Now, if you could pour me a cup of that drink. Don't give up. You're the first person who ever believed in me. Thank you. Lemonade, yes now. I'll pour you the freshest, most delicious lemonade I have. You know, I like you. I could sell you lemonade at a discount if you came to my place more often. Okay, buddy. Six months later. Here I am again, one of the richest men in this town. I'm out for a walk in my high-powered car. Should I get some coffee? No, I don't want to. Oh, there's a new bank here. I think I should go inside. I want to put my money in it. It's not cool to keep everything in cash. I wonder who's rich enough to open a whole bank. I wouldn't mind meeting a rich guy like that. So I walk up to him and I knock him out. Oh, you're a cool guy. Hello, I want to go to your bank. Let me in. Wait, wait, not so fast. Do you have any money? We don't let poor people in here. Yeah, if there's no money, get out. Oh, I don't have any money. I have diamonds. 64 grand. Look, I'm a rich guy. Can I go in now? Yeah, I think you're rich enough for our bank. You can come in now. Sorry to bother you. Okay, remember me? I'm the richest man here and you're just the servants. Okay, now I need to find the owner of this bank here. I should make an interest-bearing deposit. I'm sure he knows all the smart words. Maybe he's in the vault counting his money right now. Oh, is that a new visitor to my bank? What, JJ, what are you doing here? Mikey, wow, you've gotten so rich in the last six months. You started your own bank when you started in a dumpster. Yeah, JJ, it's my bank and my money. Did they tear down that stand? You're such a loser, and it's not your money. I bet you work here as a janitor. You were in the vault to mop the floors, and you're still funny. Okay, first of all, this is my bank. Second of all, you're terrible. You're not welcome here. And three, you're about to get kicked out by my guards. What? You wouldn't dare. Guys, come here. We're here, boss. You called us? Yeah, why'd you let him in here? Because he has money. You're wrong. This man is on the blacklist. What? Blacklisted? Yeah, get him out of here. I don't want to see him around here again. Okay, come here, man. Now we're gonna kick you out. No, you don't. You wouldn't dare. I'm rich. I'll have my revenge. Don't ever come here again. Loser, head in the mud. Nobody wants your money if you're acting like an idiot. Yeah, you're a complete idiot for coming here. You're right, Chief. He's a complete idiot. Nasty, horrible, rude, JJ. Yes, yes, he's very rude. And he's also very nasty. I've noticed that. Me too. Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. Those two guards beat me up pretty bad. Heh, <laughs> you got off easy. We could have knocked you unconscious. Get out of here. You're not allowed in. All right then. I'll find another bank where my money's safe. You two losers. You know, I've been beaten over the head pretty badly. I think I was mean to Mikey. I want to apologize to him. But they won't let me in the bank anymore. I'll have to wait until closing time. I hope Mikey forgives me. Three hours later. I've been waiting here for Mikey for so long. My legs and my back are stiff. I'm not used to apologizing to anyone. But right about now, that bank is closing. Mikey has to go home. And my parents are already waiting for me at home. Oh, there's Mikey. He's locking up his bank. It's a good time to go to him. It was a good day. Hey, Mikey. Mikey, stop. Let's talk. I want to talk to you about something. JJ, what do you want to talk to me about? I was rude to you at the bank today. Yeah, that was rude. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I've been acting really bad this whole time. Insulting you, humiliating you. I'm so ashamed I won't do it again. I'm sorry, Mikey. Oh, I didn't expect you to say that, JJ. I forgive you. Can we be friends again like we used to be don't fight and live peacefully yes of course that's a great idea then let's go out tomorrow it's been so long since we've seen each other and talk like real friends yes of course i'd love to walk with you oh that's great and now it's too late i have to go home i think you should too yeah i gotta go home too see you tomorrow mikey bye bye jj see you tomorrow my friend goodbye mikey what a terrible day i'm so tired i'm so cold i'm so hungry Oh, I mustn't give up. I must survive, but why is fate so cruel to me? It's been raining for so long. Not only are my feet wet, my pants are wet. If I don't find a place to keep warm, I'm afraid my feet will go to the next world before I do. But where am I going to find a warm place now? Uh, this can't be happening. Am I lucky? Oh my God. Thank God for giving me hope. There's a fire so I can warm my soaked pants in peace. They're soaked from the rain, aren't they? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Speaking of important, hi everybody, my name is JJ, and as you can see, I'm in a very bad place right now. I have to survive at all costs, because I want to. 
Oh, it's so warm in here. Hmm, wow, the weather's getting better. I already felt like this downpour would never end. Uh, I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna try my luck and beg for food. Maybe someone can help me in my predicament. Oh, and how nice that I was able to make a little box for passersby to put food in for me. Oh my God, it looks great. This is gonna work. I'm brimming with confidence that it's gonna work. Hmm, uh, but so far I don't see anyone around. I'll sit and wait. It must be rare for people to pass by here. Well, I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Two hours later. Ah, uh, of course I said I'd wait a long time, but this is too long. I'm going to starve to death. Oh, my food box is still empty. At this rate, my stomach will never be full. Hmm. Oh, hmm? Oh, it's a villager. Where would I sell that leather? Hello? Hi. Don't pass by my misfortune. Help me. Mm. I'm very hungry. Oh, sure, beggar. I'll help you. I'll be happy with any food you give me, please. Stray dogs. Only bones for dinner. Uh, what's this? A bone? Ha 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 ha. What were you hoping for? Wait. You're a beggar. I don't have time or money for you. How can you be so mean? <laughs> I can't eat a bone. Have fun being a beggar. Oh, my God. What was that? Why is he so angry? I just wanted to eat. I don't believe it. Hmm, are all people like that? My car goes vroom vroom. Uh, oh, and some people are much luckier than me. Oh, hmm, still I can't get past such a hopeless situation. Oh, what? Hi. Hi. My name is Mikey. My name is JJ. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, what's your problem? I'm very hungry. I don't have any money. You don't have any food at all? Also, some passerby gave me just a bone and called me a beggar dog. What a nightmare. Can you help me, please? Oh, uh, I'll have to think about it. I won't be indebted to you if you help me, please. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I really will do anything you want. Just ask me to do it. Your situation is really serious, so I'll help you. Really? Come on. Oh. You can do one thing for me. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Follow me. Hmm. Don't be afraid. This is a simple task for you. Uh, okay. So, we're in the right place. Uh, why are we here? You've got to entertain me out of boredom for that diamond. Wait, what? Diamond? Yes, it's one diamond. Oh my god. I can eat whatever I want all day long. Only trouble is, uh, that diamond fell deep into the trash. Uh, Mikey, why did you do that? Huh. Hmm. It's your job as a beggar to find this dirty diamond in this filthy trash. Wow, Mikey. And don't call me by my first name. It's disgusting. But Mikey... Have fun digging in the garbage, beggar. I see. He's just as evil as that villager. Hmm. But I know there's a diamond here. I have to find it. It's not here, and it's not here either. Oh, my God. Where's that diamond? You. Oh, I could do it. I found the diamond. But what did it cost me? Jeez. I saw things I'd never want to see again in my life. Mikey's an incredibly cruel guy if he's going to mess with me like that. I don't hold a grudge, but it's very unpleasant. The next day. Ah, yesterday I was able to eat properly, but today I'm hungry again. I can't go on like this forever, but I don't know what to do. I will definitely think of something. I just have to endure this difficult moment in my life. I have to survive. I'll be asking for help from passersby until I find a solution to my hunger problem. Vroom, vroom! Oh, it's Mikey. Oh, hmm. I wish he wasn't here anymore. Hey, still starving? Why did you come here? You want to mock me? Ah, huh, you're such a pauper. I don't want to talk to you, and I don't believe a word you say. Oh, I was going to apologize and actually give you a chance to earn some food. Hmm. But if you don't want to, I'm not taking you for a ride in my nice car. You want to go for a ride with me in this cool car? And I won't give you some more diamonds to eat. Oh. You wanted it, sorry. Ah, okay, I agree, but please let's not make fun of me. It's not very nice. Okay, okay. Yay, this is going to be so much fun. Where are we going? Don't worry. I found the coolest place for both you and me. Wow, that sounds awesome. Come on, sit down and hold on tight. Wow, I can't believe what's happening. We're going for a joy ride. Uh, ah. Why are you yelling? You started picking up speed so abruptly, I was a little scared. Huh, I drive like that all the time, so I'm fine with it. Cool. Oh, here's that cool place I was talking about earlier. Uh, okay. Well, your assignment is going to be pretty simple. Tell me more about my assignment. You'll have to clean up some stuff for me. Uh, but Mikey, it's not just stuff, it's garbage. That won't be a problem, because you were born to do this kind of work, right? What do you mean, huh? Look, you just have to clean up this obscure, brown, horrible-smelling puddle. Oh my god, what if I don't want to? There's no such word as don't want, there's the word must. Oh! You want food, so work for food. Uh, but how do I do that? Hee hee hee. No! Ah! Ew, oh my god, ew. Mikey! Whoa ha ha! Oh my god! You're right where you're supposed to be, you beggar pig. Oh! Did you really think I'd help someone like you? Yeah! You're a dreamer, huh? What? Do you know who you are? Hmm, interesting, interesting. You're, uh... I'm who? You're just an insufferable and wealthy guy. And? You're the kind of guy who can't have any real friends. I don't care! You'll regret what you said. No one can live long without comrades around. Oh, what a nightmare. He managed to trick me and humiliate me again. Hey, aren't you sick of this injustice? Oh my god, it's the Skibbity Wizard. I have one offer for you. You can't refuse. Uh, Let's talk. No, no, I can figure out my own problems. 
He's a dangerous criminal. I've got to run. I must survive. I must survive. Stop and listen to me. Uh, I can switch you and that green rich guy back and forth. Huh, what? Your life will improve and you can get your revenge. Oh, I'd really like to switch places with Mikey. Please perform a miracle, Mr. Wizard. <sighs> oh, Mr. Wizard. Uh, where am I? I don't look like I'm in the Skibbity Wizard's lair. Wow, there's a TV in here. Uh, and so much cool stuff. If this isn't his lair, then where am I? Oh, that's right. That wizard said he was gonna switch us with Mikey. This must be his computer. Cool. In a previous life, I would never have had the opportunity to get a computer like this. Wow, the views are beautiful. Wow, he had his own pool. And his house is so huge, I'm shocked. I'd probably be spoiled too if I had that many amenities. Viewers, would you start humiliating others because they are poorer than you? Yes or no, write in the comments. Oh, this room is so cool. Uh, JJ, oh, you're awake already. Yeah. Great, how'd you sleep? You were screaming strangely, so I came to check on you. Uh, I slept fine, but who are you? This is the first time I've seen you. Oh, JJ, you're having another nightmare. Wait, what? I'm your dad, and your mom's waiting for us. Oh, my God. So let's not keep her waiting, and let's go downstairs. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, is this real? I have parents. You all have no idea how happy I am to have a family. JJ. Oh. Me and your mom will have to leave for work by now, so you'll have to be home alone for a while. Uh, yeah, okay, no problem. Come on, breakfast is waiting for you. Uh, okay. Honey, I brought him. Finally, I was beginning to worry. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning, JJ. You've been sleeping a lot lately, so let's make a pact that you'll be sitting at your computer less tonight. Uh... And since we're coming in a little late today, hmm. here's some pocket money so you won't miss us. We'll give you more money tomorrow, so don't be shy and spend as much as you want. Oh my god! Cool! Thank you so much! It's time for us to go, darling. Let's go! Uh, what am I supposed to do while you're gone? Maybe do some house cleaning or dishes? Huh, JJ, we have a robot vacuum cleaner and a dishwasher. Just play and have fun. You don't have any other tasks. Really? Yeah, bye-bye. Oh! JJ, we're really in a hurry. Uh, okay. We're gonna miss you so much, bye. Have a good day at work, both of you. I'll look forward to seeing you at home, bye. 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 Wow, my parents are so great. I used to live all alone, but now I have a family that loves me. How great is that? Now I have the wonderful life I could only dream of. What should I be doing right now? Oh, that's the car. Mikey used to drive this car, but where is he now? Hmm. I just have to check out the place where I used to live. If Mikey and I switch lives, he's going through a very bad time. I need to get there and see it all in person. Wow, I love being behind the wheel of this car so much. And I've already driven so fast to the very village where I used to live. Uh, Mikey? Oh, hi. Oh, it's really you. Hmm. Well, I'm not going past him. I've got a lot to say to him. Let us see who he has become and who I am now. Hey, you. Uh, you remember me, huh? Are you ignoring me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm starving. I can't think straight. Hmm. Stranger, could you give me some food? You really don't remember me at all, do you? Oh, hmm. Okay, well, where are your parents? I've been living alone for years. I don't have parents. Oh. Now this shelter made of newspapers is my home. That doesn't look very cozy. Yeah, don't you think it's not cozy at all? You have a campfire. Cool. But it's warm. At least I won't die of cold, but of hunger. No, I'm not gonna let that happen. Well. I'll help you. You can have a full meal whenever you want. <gasps> hmm. No one has ever been so kind to me. Yeah, I know how you feel. I'll do anything you ask. You just say the word and I'll do it. You'll do anything I say? Sure, I gave you my word. Huh, what? And you're so good to me, I can't break my word. Let's be friends, Mikey. Stop. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Holy mother spaghetti. Wait, what? Of course I want to be your friend, but wouldn't I be a burden to you? Of course not. How can my friend be a burden to me? Ooh. My name's JJ. What's yours? My name is Mikey. It's a pleasure to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you, too. Finally, I won't be alone. Yay. Cool. Oh, it's morning again. Oh, come on, morning's great. Hi, everybody, I'm JJ. And this is my beautiful home. You know how I start my day? Ha! I start my day with a jump in the pool. I think it's a great way to wake up. Now I'm gonna jump a little bit. Hmm. Whoa, oh no, that's a little high. Come on, and jump right in the water. Cool. I just love swimming in the pool. What about you? Make sure you tell me what you think in the comments. And now it's time for breakfast. Where is Steven? Well, while he's gone, I'm gonna play with my toys. Oh my god. Why do I need a toy tiger or these balloons? I don't like everything. All these toys should have been thrown out a long time ago. When Steven gets here, I'm gonna tell him everything. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, there you are, Steven. I made breakfast for you. Let's go. Hmm. First of all, you're four minutes late. Oh, no. Secondly, why aren't there any new toys in my playroom? But, sir... Those balloons have been in that room for two hours. 
Isn't that a bit much? I'll fix it. Bon appetit. Don't fidget in front of me when I'm eating. This is the fish meat you asked for. What kind of meat are you talking about? Dolphin meat. Are you out of your mind? Oh, what? Are you trying to poison me or something? Of course not, sir. I said shark meat, not dolphin meat. But, sir... I'm very unhappy, Stephen. Clean my bedroom properly. If it's dirty, I'll fire you. Oh, it's so hard to educate incompetent employees. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll get off the subject. Look at the beautiful weather today. I hope my car gets here on time. Hey, Mark. Hello. Hello, Henry. Hello, sir. Where's my limo? Car's a little late, sir. You're getting a little high, aren't you? Ouch. What am I paying you money for? But, sir, that's not our job. I decide who you are and what you're for, so keep your mouth shut. That's the butler's job, not the <clears throat> security guard's job. Oh, finally. Oh, there's your limo coming. I'm so glad I can go into village. Maybe see Mikey. Have a nice walk, sir. The car was 30 seconds late. But it's no big deal, right? I'll take that mistake out of your salary. Why are you doing this, sir? Those stupid-headed guards, you can't rely on them. That sounded unpleasant. Oh, this is a nightmare. I need to get away. Driver, let's go to the old half-abandoned village. Hmm. I wonder how Mikey's doing. That kid is so rude. He's too hard on his underlings. I don't want to work for such a horrible boy. I heard he was mean to Stephen, poor old man. That's terrible. Oh, hmm. Oh, wow. It's morning, yay! Hi everybody, my name is Mikey and I go to school every day. Now I'm gonna put my last textbook, it's math, in my backpack. I'm ready to go back to school. Huh, I like learning, it's fun. Oh, I haven't seen JJ in class in a while. I hope he's okay. Well, I'm gonna hit the road. I feel like today's gonna be the best day ever. Mom, I'm going to school. Oh my joy, are you leaving already? Yeah, mom, what's wrong? The thing is, I just got a call from my job. I'm unemployed now. I got fired. What? I haven't even gotten a paycheck, Mikey. <gasps> which means we don't have any food. Oh, this can't be happening. What a bunch of bad people. I don't know what to do. I'll help you, Mom. I'll get us food. I promise you. The important thing now is that we don't starve to death, okay? Oh, okay. You go try to find us food and I'll look for a new job. Okay, okay. We can do it together. Thanks, Mom. I'll come back with plenty of food. Good luck. I'll definitely be up to the task. So, I found the place where I'll ask for help. The bus stop is the best place. People pass by here a lot. I think someone will help me. And especially with this homemade cardboard box, I'm sure it'll work. Now we just have to wait. Huh, it's okay if no one comes right away. It's normal. I've been waiting a long time. Two hours later. Oh, those potatoes weren't fresh at all. But I didn't agree to buy them for nothing. Huh, I'm so smart. Hmm, what's this here? Hello, stranger. Hi. I wonder if you could help me a little. Hmm? I'm in a terrible situation right now. Wow. If it's not too much trouble, could you give me some food? Sure, I'll help you out. Thank you. Here, this is from me. Oh, hmm, you can't be serious. I can't eat this. Huh, what a funny kid. Huh, you're so stupid. I'd never help you, silly boy. Earn diamonds instead of sitting by the roadside. Huh, silly boy. What a horrible person. I can't believe I'm going to be hungry today. Oh, well, it was just one person. I'll keep waiting. Oh, it smells like poverty. What am I doing here anyway? Uh, oh, stop the car. Oh, is the bus coming? Wow, it's not just a bus. It's a limo, cool. I wish it would stop right in front of me. Yeah, stop it right here. Who could that be? Hey, Mikey. <gasps> hey, how's it going in here? JJ, hey. I didn't even know you were so cool. Yeah. Can you help me out a little bit? Hmm. I'm in a bit of a jam. Oh, it looks sad. Yeah. You want me to give you some food? Hmm, I guess so. I'd like some food. Will you help me? What if I didn't give you food? Wow. But something better. What do you want to offer me? Look, with this diamond, you could buy yourself a mountain of food. Wow, I can't believe it. Do you want it? Yes. Do you really want it? Yes, I really want it. Huh, you're a naive kid, Mikey. I'm just laughing in the face of your poverty. What? I'll never give you that diamond, no matter how much you ask. JJ, you're doing a terrible thing. I thought we were friends. Huh, that's funny, Mikey. Also, I'm not friends with you anymore. <gasps> when you've earned your first 100 diamonds, then we'll talk. Goodbye, redneck. Give me some gas, driver. Let's get out of this backwoods village. What did I do to deserve this attitude from JJ? It's so unfair. <laughs> Why does everyone hate me so much? What's going on here? Where's that noise coming from? <laughs> I was just asking for some food. <laughs> My mom and I are starving. Oh, what a 
terrible situation. People are so mean. Hey, boy. Oh, Skibbity the wizard. Don't be frightened. I mean well. You're not going to hurt me, are you? Yeah, it's going to be all right. Listen to me. I'm scared, but I'm listening. I'm a very powerful wizard. I can move your life with that boy's life. And you'll just owe me one. I just think it's kind of unfair. I don't think that rich guy cares about you at all. It's only fair. Hmm, you're right. All right, I'll agree to your terms. Huh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, we'll have fun. Let's teach that humanity-defying JJ a lesson. Three hours later. Oh, it's been a long day. Mikey's such a simpleton. So, I'm back home. Hi. Did I misunderstand something? Hello, sir. I said hi. Hello. Where's my hot chocolate? Chocolate? You're both stupid if you can't even remember that. I can't take it anymore. You're both fired. What? What? Did you both hear that? You're stray dogs now. Okay. Ha! That makes me feel better. Oh, my home, I've missed you. While I was walking around that decaying village, I got really hungry. Oh, hello, Stephen. Hello, sir. Are you hungry? Of course. Great. I've cooked lunch for you. What have you cooked for me? It's all healthy and delicious for you. I've tried my best. What is it? What stew? What pork? Steven, what is this? But sir... Did I ask you to cook all this meat for me? Ouch. Oh, you know I like fish. You're good. Thank you, sir. Except Ouch. it's completely overcooked. Oh, no. Do you think I'm poor? Of course not. And then there's an apple. Mm. You think that's okay? Yes, apples are very healthy. You're fired, Steven. What? I don't Ouch. want you in this house anymore. No. You're all just rubbish. What a terrible day. Oh, my God. I'm going to go rest in my room. <coughs> Oh, another beautiful morning. Wait, what? What's that? Where am I? Stop, you jingle bell. What's going on? Have I been kidnapped? Hmm. Oh, I recognize this place. This is where I used to party with Mikey. We used to watch cartoons here together. Oh, holy mama's casserole. I didn't even know it was this messed up. I can't believe I was so mean to him. Uh, oh, I'm really hungry. I hope there's steak in the fridge. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? What kind of nonsense is this? How can a fridge be so empty? That's ridiculous. Mikey, what a nightmare you've been living in all this time. Oh, I gotta go to the last place I saw Mikey. Oh yeah, there's the bus stop. Oh great, I hope I can see him today and apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, Mikey. That's really all he had to eat. This is a nightmare. How could I treat a man who couldn't even eat a proper meal like that? Oh, that's my limo. It must be Mikey's. Mikey, it's me. JJ, stop, please. Driver, please stop the car. Hey, JJ. Yeah. How do you like this side of life? Hmm. Do you like it? Uh. Are you happy with it? Mikey, no. Do you have anything to say to me? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for what? I'm sorry for what I did to you with all my heart. You forgive me? Hmm, yes, of course I forgive you. Really? And I'll share this diamond with you. Oh, is that the diamond? Yes. Mikey, I'm so happy and grateful to you. He he he. I've realized my mistakes. That makes me very happy. Now let's go for a walk. Yeah, let's go. It's a beautiful morning of a new day. But this new day begins in the same old gorgeous house I live in. He he he. A rich life is a good thing. Wake up and go straight to a delicious breakfast. I love it! As usual, exquisitely served food that will give me energy for the whole day. Also so delicious. Breakfast time! Bon appetit to me! What a deliciously prepared meal. I'm thrilled. Big meeting today. Good thing I slept in. Hey, Mikey. Good for you for eating breakfast. I have an important meeting with my sponsors today. Wow, that's great. Will you take me to see it? Sure, Mikey. Let's go together. Thanks, Dad. I'll learn to negotiate and be as rich as you. Come on, Mikey. We gotta get to the meeting on time. We're gonna ride in your new sports car. Yeah, Mikey. On it. I'm gonna take you for a nice long ride. Thanks a lot, Dad. You're the best dad in the world. You'll remember this trip for the rest of your life. We'll have a good time together. Of course, son. Let's talk about something. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry. I got a call from work. Hi, I'm on my way. I'll be right in the time. We won't be late. Don't worry. I'm responsible in my business. Are you stupid or something? I told you 30 times not to buy that stock. I don't care that there was an opportunity to sell them. You screwed up. Dad? I don't care what happened in there. You're losing my money, not yours. Either you fix it and give me my money back or I'll fire you. Jesus, this place is so uncomfortable to sleep in. I just can't get any sleep. Like and subscribe to the channel if you sleep on a comfortable and soft bed. Let's see how many of you are lucky. I wonder where mom is. Probably went to look in the trash for something useful. I hope she finds us something to eat. Mommy! Mom, are you here? Did you find anything interesting? Or at least something to eat? Good morning, son. 
No, I didn't find anything. We don't have anything to eat. Are those huge bins of garbage empty of everything we need? Yes, JJ. There's been nothing interesting here since yesterday. I'm really hungry, Mom. I'm gonna go see what's in the neighboring dumpster. You can go to the box and wait for people to help us. All right, Mom. Hopefully someone will be passing by. It's very sad to live in poverty when every day you live in the hope of just at least having something to eat. And as usual, there's not a single soul around us. Now I will sit and wait for people to notice my sign and be able to give my mom and I something delicious to enjoy. Look, someone's coming. Please help me. I don't think they saw me. No, they've turned around and they're coming at me. Apparently, they want to help me with the food. Yay, you have a very cool car. I like it. Here, look, son, a prime example. If you don't study, you'll just sit around begging for food from rich people. Wait, what? You should be ashamed to sit like that. You even let yourself answer me. I didn't do anything bad to you. Why are you doing this? I sure did. You've ruined my mood with your looks and your behavior. Dad, calm down. Let's go help him. Of course we will. Let's give him those rotten potatoes. Let him be happy now he can eat. Really? Why are you doing this, Dad? So he knows that in order to eat normally, you have to do normal things, not beg for food. I don't believe it. Please forgive my dad. I don't know what got into him. I'm so ashamed of what happened. I'm sorry. Never mind. You better follow your daddy. Why do so rich people treat poor people so badly? It's not like we've done anything to them. Write in the comments what you would do in their shoes. Would you help me, or would you also throw a rotten potato? I have to find my mom and tell her what happened. What am I supposed to do with these potatoes? It's all rotten. Maybe I should throw it away. I didn't find anything in that dumpster. Anybody help you, son? There were some people driving by in a sports car. They mocked me, and all they gave me was a rotten potato. Oh my god, are you okay, JJ? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't get upset with them. Well done, son. No need to worry. They is rotten potato, but don't worry. At least we'll be able to eat. That's great, Mom. I'm so glad because I'm really hungry. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about that boy who wanted food. Daddy was very rude to him. I can't just let it go. I'll go to them tomorrow and offer him my help. I'll try to get him in the house, as long as Dad doesn't notice. The next day. It's morning at last. Now I can go and help the boy. I really hope he doesn't back out because of yesterday and forgive me. Is someone here or is it just me? Ah, uh, Mikey, where are you going? Do you need a ride? So that you don't have to walk, but drive. Eh? Uh, no, Dad. Thank you very much. I just went out for a little walk. The weather's great today. I just want to get some fresh air. All right, son. Don't go far away. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Mikey. Jesus! As long as my dad doesn't find out where I'm going, he'd be really pissed if he knew. We'll have to get him in carefully so daddy doesn't see. A new day, and once again I didn't get a good night's sleep, and my mom is still searching through the trash for anything useful. We need to go and tell her the truth. Mom, look, I can't be here anymore. It stinks. I can't sleep. I'm tired. I understand you, son. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's the way life is. It's the way we have to be. But mom, I can't be here anymore. Let's try to fix something. Let's find something soft and put it in our house. For what? So I could at least get a decent night's sleep. Just once. Okay, son. I'll figure something out. Okay, thank you so much, mom. Look! What's the matter? There's a boy walking towards us. Hey, hey! Hello, all of you! I remember that boy. He's the one who used to come over with his dad and pick on me. They threw rotten potatoes at me. Yeah, we came to see you yesterday. That was me. I'm Mikey. He seems like a good boy but inside he's as rotten as a potato. Yeah! That's not true. No offense to me about yesterday, please. My dad was angry and I was ashamed of myself. Why'd you come here, Mikey? Are you here to apologize or to help? I'm here both to apologize and to offer you a place to stay at my house, only in secret from daddy. Wow, man, wow. I'd love to sleep in a nice house instead of this hole. I think we should take Mikey up on his offer, son. I totally agree with you, mom. My name is JJ, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm really glad you said yes. I couldn't sleep all night because of yesterday. Let's go in the direction of my house. I'm very happy, Mikey. Thank you for offering us such a favor. You're welcome. I'm really glad you said yes. Let's hurry up. It'll be dark soon. Is that how big your house is? Dad bought it, and now we live here. Do you like the way it looks? Yeah, I like it a lot. You'll be living here now, too. A super big house. So glad you are helping us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go inside now. I originally thought Mikey wanted to mess with us, but it's like we're really going into his house now. All right, look. Daddy's home on the first floor now. I'll take you up to the attic so Daddy won't find you. Let's go in quietly so we won't be seen. Okay, we get it. Let's go! I'm opening the doors. Welcome, come on in. We're going in. Wow, it's so spacious and super beautiful. This is the first time I've seen a house like this. Come on, don't waste any time. Get up the stairs. Yes, JJ, stay tuned and keep your voice down. All right, let's hurry up. Will we have a place to sleep in the attic? Mikey, stop. Oh, no. Yeah, Dad, hi. Did you want something? You walked in and didn't even say hello or approach. Is something wrong? No, Dad, I'm fine. I'm just really tired and sleepy, so I went straight upstairs. Oh, I got it. 
All right, son, good for you. Go up to your room and get your strength for tomorrow. He looked in my direction and didn't see me. How lucky I am. He has no idea we're in his house. Everything's great, guys. Hurry up. We were almost spotted. It was dangerous, but a lot of fun. The main part of our mission is accomplished. Now it's down to the easy part. Just go up to the attic and make your beds. That's great, Mikey. The three of us are like undercover spies. We're doing 10 out of 10 on our mission so far. We're almost there. This is where the room can't be occupied because of you can be seen. That's too bad. This room is great. I'd love to live here. And this right here is the entrance to your new room. That's great. I can't wait to see it. Welcome to your new home, friends. Wow, what a beautiful room. It's really a lot of pipes and stuff. That's all right. It won't hurt us at all. The room certainly isn't the best, but I think it's much more comfortable than sleeping outside. Sure, Mikey. We're very grateful to you. Absolutely don't care that there's a lot of stuff here. My mom and I have been living in a dumpster for a long time, and this room is heaven for us. That's great. You'll be sleeping on these. Unfortunately, there are no beds, but they're soft enough for a good night's sleep. Sure beats sleeping on the floor. Thank you so much, Mikey. You're very good to us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome, friends. Make yourselves comfortable. Mikey, where's the restroom next door? You can go next door, as long as your dad doesn't see you. Thank you, friend. You saved us. Come see us tomorrow. Bye. I'll be sure to come over and spend some time together. I'll bring some board games. Good night. We're very lucky, JJ. That's a very kind boy. He brought us to his house and gave us a room. He made us a bed, too. What a great kid. It's true. He's super kind. I can finally get a good night's sleep. I'm very tired today, son. You can enjoy our new room, but I'm going to bed. Okay, Mom, good night. Mommy's asleep. She deserves to sleep. She's done a lot for me. Be sure to give us a like if you're happy for us. And now we can go to bed in peace and quiet. The next morning. Where did I put the damn tools? They're always in plain sight when you don't need them. As soon as I need to fix a faucet, the tools are gone. It's ironic, isn't it? If they're not in any of the rooms, then I probably took them to the attic and just plain forgot about them. I'll have to go upstairs and make sure. The tools are probably in there. God, where could I have put them? Hole in the head forgot everything. I need to sign to what I'm doing. It's even more correct. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here, so this is probably where my tools lie. What the hell is that? What are you doing in my house? How did you even get in here? Hello, your son Mikey invited us here, said we could stay here. I'm not a thief. What? How dare you talk about my son like that? Oh my God. Get out of here, you homeless man. I'm gonna call the police and tell them how you snuck into my house and decided to steal from me. I'm sorry, please. He's not lying to you. What? Whose voice is that? It's a beautiful voice. I'm that boy's mom. He's telling the truth. We didn't break into your house to steal anything from you. Your son let us in. What happened to him? Sir, why don't you say something? Are you all right? I think he was speechless when he saw you, mom. Wait, don't swear. Wait, what's going on here? Dad! I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, but you wouldn't have let them in. And these are my new friends now. Mikey, your dad lost his speech when he found out I was here with my mom. What? Dad, what's wrong with you? I'm fine. I've just never met such a beautiful lady before. I'm so sorry, kid, that I yelled at you. I didn't know you were telling the truth. My name is JJ. Mikey, what's with your dad? Is he in love with my mom? I don't understand anything yet, JJ. What are we doing standing around talking in the attic? Let's go downstairs to the living room. Why? You want to kick them out, Dad? That's what I thought. I think we can be a beautiful family all together. Let's go talk about it soon. You heard it, Mikey. Now we're going to share a room together. I'm very happy about that. We were able to take you in. Now we will spend time together all the time. And it all started when you managed to sneak me and my mom into your attic. Yay! What wonderful coincidences there are in this world. I am in an orphanage since I don't have parents. And this is my brother, Mikey. I don't understand why you're so cheerful. Because Christmas is coming. We're in an orphanage without parents. And those idiots are still excited about some stupid Christmas tree. How am I supposed to cheer you up? I'd be happy for my new parents. Yes, new parents would be a nice Christmas present. I'm too sad without my parents, JJ. But it's still worth it to rejoice in the little things during such difficult times in life. You should learn from them how to have fun. The only thing that would make me happy is a little Christmas present. No one has given me a gift in years. Don't worry. I hear there are enough gifts for all the kids in this orphanage this year. That's good. Last year, I was last in line and didn't get a gift for me. Huh, you're such a loser, Mikey. Oh, look, there's new parents coming in to adopt that girl. She's a very lucky kid. Do you want to live with us? You'll live in the basement. You'll like it for sure. You living in a basement is not cool. I'm so jealous of her. Oh, my God. Are you crying again? Oh, my God. We're going to be adopted someday. Don't be so 
so desperate, Mikey. Let's go to our room. You need to calm down. I don't want to calm down. Well, you can cry all you want. Just do it in your room. Otherwise, we'll be punished again. If it's any consolation, I can give you my Christmas present when I get it. I want all the presents under the tree. No, Mikey, this is too much even for you. You've got a lot of nerve, I see. Nobody's giving you all the presents. You know, I'm not giving you my present either. Oh, my God. The next day. You know, JJ, I'm not in the Christmas mood I was in last year. Because you cried all the moods out last day, Mikey. Look outside. It's winter. It's snowing. It's like Christmas. What am I supposed to do with this snow? The only reason people love winter is because of Christmas. Hey, Mikey, JJ, are you busy? I'm coming in. Hurry up and get the presents out from under the Christmas tree. Wow, presents, now? Stop talking. Get in line for your presents. I still have a line to stand in. Stop whining, Mikey. Hurry up and get your present. And what exactly are we getting? It's all random. Okay, I like it already. We might get a really cool gift. I'm glad you're finally in a good mood, Mikey. Let's go to our tree. There's a lot of presents. Every child in this orphanage will be happy. Oh, I love that. Since there's a lot of presents, I guess I could somehow get two presents instead of one. Hi, kids. Let's start sorting out the presents. Yay, presents. Wow, there's a whole bunch of those boxes. There's definitely enough for everyone. Just please, don't take more than one gift, okay? All right. No, of course not. Okay, teacher. Okay, quiet, everybody. Get in line. No crowding. We need to take first place so no one steals our present. Ow, ow, Aya, don't push. Yeah, why are you pushing? Because there's never enough presents for everyone. Shut up. Well, these kids are rude these days, I can tell. They're already starting to sort through the presents there. Oh my god. We might not get ours in time. They said there were a lot of gifts. Don't worry about it. I don't like the whole thing anyway. Wait a little while and we'll get your present. Wow, I got such a cool gift. Thank you so much. And here's my present. Haha, <laughs> there's not enough presents left. And now it's our turn. I got the last present. Haha, <laughs> you guys are such losers. Seriously? No more presents? What about us? There was a whole bunch of boxes. Our present was stolen. We'll have to ask the teacher. Hey, I'm sorry, but we didn't have enough presents. It's all gone. How did this happen? Everyone just sorted out all the presents. We didn't get anything. Uh-oh. Looks like you guys didn't have any presents. Are you stupid? We just told you that. It's okay, kids. You can get your gift for next year. No need to worry. What? We have to wait another year? Aren't you guys crazy? Maybe you've been misbehaving, so you didn't get a present. Next time, be good children. Bye-bye, losers. Uh, you heard that. She called us losers. That's horrible. Some freak stole our present. They stole two presents, and no one saw it. Oh, my God. And then you started crying again. What if I cry too? Are you going to make me feel better? I don't think so. You don't need this gift. They're giving you some stupid little toy for a baby. And we're grown-ups. We can do without unnecessary gifts. And I want that present. I don't want to anymore. We can take a gift away from some weak kid. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, or we could write a letter to Santa Claus and ask him for a present. This is the person who will definitely give the gift. Hmm, sounds smart. I agree. Let's write him a letter. It's not cool to live without a gift. Okay, but you're the writer. I have terrible handwriting. No, let you write it. You're going to write it. Santa wouldn't understand that. Five minutes later. Well, the letter's ready. Now you can mail it. Where are we going to send this letter? We're going to write Santa Claus on the address? Um, I hadn't thought of that. What are we supposed to do then? You just throw the letter in the air. I'm sure he'll find it and read it. Sounds like a solid and genius plan, JJ. Okay, I'll trust you as a professional mailman. Fly, letter. Fly to Santa Claus and bring us lots of presents. It's spinning strangely. Fly where you belong, stupid letter. Hey, don't insult the letter. It's supposed to bring us presents. Forgive my stupid brother. Uh, what are you talking about? Letters don't have feelings. It's just a piece of paper. It'll still get to Santa Claus. You still have to be a little kinder to everything around you. I'll be mad at everyone because everyone treats me badly. Maybe it's time to change. Then everyone will treat you better, Mikey. Mm, maybe you're right. Okay. Hello, I'm Santa's secretary. He's on vacation. I'm working for him. Okay, I'll have a french fry, two Big Macs, a medium Coke, and a sweet and sour sauce. I'm sorry, but this is Santa Claus office, not McDonald's. Hey, Chica, let's go meet up then. This is the ski beanie toilet. Oh my god, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not giving you any presents. Hello, Santa. Oops, I mean his deputy. I found a letter addressed to Santa Claus. Since you're replacing him now, it belongs to you. I'm busy. Hey, your job is to give gifts. Get to work fast. Hey, I am actually your boss. My boss is Santa, and you're just a substitute. Get to work. Okay, give me your letter already. 
I'll deliver a gift to this sender. Who sends paper letters now when there's email? Traditionally, the letters were handwritten. We are obliged to answer it. Okay, all right. Who wrote this? Mikey and JJ from the orphanage? It's not easy for kids these days. They didn't get a present? That's terrible. I'll get to work ordering them right away. These orphans will not be left without attention or a gift. Hey, you, quickly prepare two of the coolest gifts ever. Is that the least you can do? And get me some coffee, too, and hurry up. No coffee, you insolent secretary. I'll make the best presents. Santa Claus's elves will try to make the children happy this holiday. What do you mean, no coffee? How brazen elves are these days. Now I know why Santa got tired of working all this time and took a vacation from them. They can't even serve coffee. And I gotta get to JJ and Mikey's. Never done this before. Ah, oh, it's so cold to walk around outside in such a short skirt. Never mind, let's get to work. I've never delivered my own gifts to my kids, and I'm going to fly to them on this sled. How am I supposed to drive it? I don't even have a driver's license. I wonder if you need a license to drive a reindeer sled. Maybe not. Santa Claus didn't tell me that. Oh, these reindeer are smart enough to take me on their own. I hope they know where we're going. Oh my god, that's so high. I'm afraid of heights. I'd rather go by car. No! I'm gonna be sick. Three hours later. At least in this orphanage, we are fed properly. Yum, 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 of course. The food here is delicious. It would have been better if we had been given a gift. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We're eating. Don't disturb us. It's nighttime outside. It's time for you all to go to bed. Did you even see how dark it got outside? No, we didn't. And if I don't want to sleep? What did you say? You cheated us out of our presents. I don't care at all. Go to sleep. Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. You are so mean, aren't you? She told you she doesn't care about us or anything. Yeah, Mikey. Living in an orphanage is not easy. Everyone yells at us and bullies us. You two losers. You're also freaks. Hey, that's already hurtful. If I see you awake at this time again, I'll punish you. Okay, just don't insult us. You two stinkers. Go to bed now. Okay, JJ. I realized something. And what did you realize? Our kindergarten teacher is crazy. She likes to insult us specifically. I figured that out a long time ago, Mikey. Uh-oh. That's not nice. Oh my god. There's a thief in our window. No, I am not not a thief. I'm Santa's helper. We have to call the police. Don't do this, please. She doesn't look like a robber. I'm not a robber. I brought you presents. Get me out of here already. What do you say to that, Mikey? We'll help her. Besides, she brought us presents. Finally. Hurry up. My butt's freezing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, 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 ow. You're hurting me. Wait, there's got to be another way. We can push you from behind. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. Pull yourself up. Okay, let's move on. Ay, 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 ay. Whew, that wasn't easy. Thank you, kid. You could just come in the front door. They wouldn't let me in dressed like that. I have no idea why. Okay, I'm here for a reason. I have a present for you. You wrote a letter to Santa Claus, but he's on vacation. Here are your presents. Wow, they found our letter after all. Such big presents. The other children were given small boxes. Thank you so much, Lady Santa. Thank you. You are so cool. Oh, what cute babies. Giving gifts turns out to be so nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, of course. The giveaways are mega cool. Thank you. That's great. Then I must get on with my work. Back out the window? Hmm? Out the window? Probably not. I'll go through the door. I hope no one sees me. All right. Good luck, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. I hope you behaved well this year and will behave the same way next year. Bye-bye, sweet babies. Bye-bye, Mrs. Santa. Bye-bye. Thanks for the gifts. You see, Mikey, now we have some super cool gifts. I can see that. I should have whined and been such a bad boy all this year. Now I'm going to be on my best behavior, so I'll definitely get more presents next time. That's right, Mikey. But the great greatest gift of all is having you around. JJ is my dearest brother. Oh, I love you, Mikey. Friends, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. What kind of Christmas gift would you like to get? Write about it in the comments. Bye-bye.